welcome back to my channel I am currently sitting in the Sephora parking lot because I just went in and I had an idea of what I wanted I was gonna get a refill of my milk kush lip balm and then I was gonna get the first aid beauty dry cannabis oil but then I like I don't like going into Sephora because I get super overwhelmed and I want to buy everything and I was like looking around and then I was like oh do I I don't really need this because I just bought uh, which I will show you later the ordinaries like brightening serum and I was like my skin is dry but I have things to help with that so I don't really need and it wasn't it's not really like a hydrating oil it's more of like literally a repair oil and my skin is I mean my skin was freaking out the other day but I feel like the ordinary has been helping like it was just spots so I put the oil down and then I was like well I want to get something else because I'm here so I was like oh I need a daytime moisturizer because I'm not good about moisturizing during the day and I was like which one should I get and then I was like I, it was so overwhelming and then I picked up the Sephora um, Sephora collection like all day hydrating glow and I put it on my hand and it felt nice and it was like super glowy and like really pretty it was it's a mo daytime moisturizer but then I was like then the, I got online and I was like the line was so long and it wasn't moving and it hadn't moved the whole time I was in there so I was like you know what forget this like I'm gonna go home look at what moisturizers I have not just buy something to buy because I'm here and then I had just gotten which I'll show you I'm using my Louis bag not my Louis bag my Tory Burch bag my new one that you saw in my last vlog um I just got the I got a refill of the sugar of my sugar fresh sugar lip balm and I got the mint rush and like these are I've been using this for a few days and it it works really well like my lips feel nice and hydrated so I don't really need my Kush lip balm at the moment especially because I've been using that and I still have a little lip balm left and I have my Glossier like I have a lot of lip balm so I will refill it but maybe not today so I just walked out I was like I did all this for nothing and it's like not that big of a deal but I was annoyed because like I just you almost like don't know what you want and I don't know so for some reason shopping in store makes me not want to spend money but shopping online makes me want to spend money so I don't I don't really know but I did come from the gym which is why my hair is up in this headband and I have my gym clothes on I'm gonna go food shopping I just want to pick up a few things and then um, I'm gonna go back home I'm gonna show you everything that I got I got a new bag two new bags I'll show you what I got from Sephora. I got a ring from Kate Spade, and um, I think that might be it. Yeah, so I'll show you. I also have to edit the vlog from, well, no, the, I have to post the my other vlog that you'll be seeing before this. And in that video, I said that I was going to list a Tory Burch bag on Poshmark for like $60, but then I looked and I had actually paid $140 for it, so definitely not listing it at $60, um, but I like wrote that all out in the description bar, or I will when I get home, but I wanted to mention it here in case you were confused. Um, the bag is up on Poshmark as you're watching this. Um, I will leave it down below if it hasn't sold yet, which I doubt it. Um, yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna go food shopping, and then I will see you back at home. Bye. I'm home. So I just got home a little while ago. I made myself lunch, and now I'm going to show you everything I've bought. Um, so we have some Sephora stuff, two bags, and I think that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so first up, I already showed you this that I bought from Sephora. 
and I'm loving it a lot. I've raved about the Sugar Fresh treatments before. I have two of them right here. I have the Spice one, which I didn't wear a whole lot this fall, just because the color was like very, I guess like, I don't know, I just kind of forgot about it a lot of the time. And then I have my Sagittarius one, which is just regular fresh um, balm and it's almost done, which is why I got the mint one. Also, I told you I bought the Ordinary Alpha Arbutrin 2% HA. So this is kind of like a brightening serum. And because of all the dark spots that I've had on my face lately, I wanted to try something. And part of me really wanted to try out the Drunk Elephant serum but um i stopped myself from spending 80 dollars and picked up this and i've tried one thing from the ordinary that i didn't like and then honestly with all the drama going on with the company i didn't feel good about buying it especially because like then they were pulled from sephora and like you couldn't find it anywhere and whatever but i've been using it for three days now and i don't know if i see a difference um, then the next thing i bought to complete my pillow talk collection is the Pillow Talk Blush from Charlotte Tilbury. It's super dark, and I don't think I expected it to be this dark, but I haven't tried it yet. I haven't touched it. I want to take a picture of um, all my, my entire Pillow Talk collection um, for Instagram, but I like how it's lighter in the middle and darker on the side, and I love nude blushes, and I've been meaning to pick up a nude blush, so this came at a very good time, um, and it's just the Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher in Pillow Talk. Um, I really like the packaging on this. Obviously, like, it's super thin. It's very luxurious. It's a lot nicer than the eyeshadow, um, the eyeshadow packaging. Oh my god, I can't talk today. So, happy to have this and then i've been using my witch hazel that you saw in my last vlog um every day and i really like how it's making my skin feel and then i also just wanted to give you a tiny update on the vital protein so i haven't used the original vital proteins yet but i used the two coffee creamers and i'm in love they it made me feel so good all day long when i used it in my coffee i took it um, on Thursday and then today and Thursday I was in like the best mood I've been in in a really long time and one of the benefits of collagen is that it may put you in a good mood so like it helps with your mood so I think that that's so amazing um, I'm gonna try this one tomorrow in my coffee and then I will buy a full thing of this because this is zero points on Weight Watchers. The coffee creamers are more like they're actual points and I don't want to add any points to my diet. So I'm going to just try this and then um, see how it goes. Also, you could, I didn't know this, you could bake it into like baked goods. Like you could put it in like cupcakes and stuff or like you could put it in to soups. Like you could, it's, I mean, that's wild. I didn't know that. So I might try that one day but for now I will put it in my coffee now this is the one of two bags that are new aside from the Tory Burch bag but this is my Kate Spade Molly tote now I bought this because my mom and my sister have been using my Tory Burch totes for work for themselves and now the only totes that I have are the Neverfulls, which obviously, like, it's totally fine. But I don't want to use my Neverfulls every single day because I don't want to ruin them. And I also am not the type of person to use one bag for extended periods of time. I really like to switch things up. So now I have a new work tote. Um, when I saw this release from um, Kate Spade, I knew that I had to have it. Oh, wait. It's just a simple work tote it has the new spade logo which i love and i love that it's the same color as the bag um it's there's no like edging on it like there's no leather off the top it's just like a very simple bag it, it is to me it's reminiscent of the t original tory birch perry tote where it was like just leather um and this is how it is but the leather is like very soft, but it does have that pebbled look to it. I got it in the beige color because they had black. I didn't want black. They had pink, which I feel like a pink bag. Aside from this, like it was like a 
brighter hot pink, almost probably the same shade as the ottoman, a little darker. I felt like that's more of a summer bag. Then I had a green bag, which I wasn't going to get, um, even though it was very pretty. And then a cranberry red, which I didn't want. So on the inside, it's like microfiber suede. It's super soft. And it's literally just one big pocket. It does seem very... And then um, there's no like padding. It's still the microfiber suede. And it comes with a little pouch, which um, you can detach. But it's nice to have it in here. And it's like super, super pretty. But And then we also have new Kate Spade pink dust bags, which feel really soft and beautiful um it does stand up on its own as you can see um it's very very structured I don't know how it will wear over time oh it also has clasp so you could close it shut um and then on the back it just has a little Kate Spade logo and that so you could carry it both ways, really. Um, the straps do flat flop right now, even though like that one's a little bit straighter. But um, I don't know how much this is going to hold. It's quite long. I haven't compared it to my Neverfull, but I do feel like it's um, a little narrow. So I don't know. We'll see how it works out. Um, I think it's a beautiful bag, and I'm actually I'm going to switch out of it Um for Monday for work. I'm going to switch out of it tomorrow and then we'll report back. And obviously there will be a video on this, a what's in my bag or a review. So stay tuned for that down the road while I use it. Now for Z finale, I already put it away because I already used it. I got my hands on the MM favorite. So this was a little present to myself because um, of my tax return and because um, I like to, with my tax tax return, I like to buy one Louis piece. Last year I bought my um, Neverfull, I think the Damier had been, and then the year before that I bought my Monogram Neverfull, and this year I wanted like a smaller everyday crossbody bag because I do have a Speedy. Um, and I do want the Damier a bin speedy in like the 25, but for now this is, I really wanted something smaller and it's beautiful. It's in gorgeous condition. There are a few scratches on the, um, hardware, but the chain is beautiful. The inside is pristine. The strap obviously has some vachetta, um, has p some patina. And I just not crazy about this strap. It feels very flimsy. It I'm pretty sure it is a Louis Vuitton strap. Um, I mean, it does have like Oh my god, the kids outside are making noise. It does have the LV, but I'm not crazy about it. It feels very flimsy. Um and then whoopsies. The inside is a little smaller than I expected, but still beautiful. I love the plum. I'm just really, really happy to have like an acute everyday. Oh my God, won't focus. I'm really happy to have a cute everyday like crossbody bag. I used it last night. I had to go to a wake, um, and I used it and it fit everything really nicely. And it it just is very like stylish and it like kind of makes a statement because you don't see a lot of people with this bag. And I've wanted this bag for so long. I like. I don't know what it was. I loved the shape of it. I love how it comes out on the sides. I love the this gold plate. I I don't know. I love the plum interior. I love the little strap. I'm like obsessed with how it looks. And I'm just so happy that I found it. It's just like the most beautiful little bag. Um, I did get this on eBay. I bought it from a seller, um, not a Japanese seller, just um, somebody like here in the United States who was selling her bag. Um, I think she had a few other bags, so I'll leave it down below, but it came with like the tag and it came with the original dust bag and everything and I'm just so happy with it. It's so beautiful. It's my little baby. Um, and I can't wait to continue using her like pretty much every weekend. I think this is going to be my new like every weekend like day night bag. Um, and this is even great to just like run a few errands with. I have been loving 
my Tory Burch for um, errands. This is the second time I took it out and it's just so nice to have a smaller tote to um, keep everything in. So that's what's in there right now, but I will do a full what's in my bag once I use it a little more. But yeah, these are my three new bags. Tory Burch, Kate Spade, and Louie, my three favorites. Um, I do have one more Louie piece coming on Monday, and I will show that later in this vlog. Um, I'm going to do this vlog over a few days, so I'm going to just, I have some work to do, so I will see you later. Hi, welcome back. It's Sunday afternoon. My hair is a mess. I'm a mess, but that's just how we're doing it on Daylight Savings Time. I slept until almost 12 o'clock because um, of the time change and it just killed me so we'll see how I sleep tonight but I wanted to show you a few things um, I got a box box from influencer and okay so this is the box box it's the L'Oreal lash serum solution um, I've never used a lash serum because I don't never really felt like I needed one but recently probably in the past year I really feel like I um, my lashes could use it so um, I'm going to test this for four weeks and then I will um, do a post at the end it's not like sponsored or anything but um, for the Vox box I do have to test it for four weeks so it'll probably be a good I'll make a good blog post out of it so um, stay tuned for my thoughts on this um, Welcome back. It's another day. Another thing that I bought. Um, I told you, whoa, um, I told you that I had something else coming. I think I said that it was something else, Louis Vuitton. And I'm here to show you it. First, I would like to tell a little story. <laughs> I bought this and um, from one of the Japanese consignment shops, one that I've never ordered from before but they had the best price for the best condition, so I did it. Now, this came via FedEx, and I obviously wasn't home because it came on Monday, and today's Wednesday. I just got home from work. Um, so it came on Monday, and I got the notification that they couldn't leave it because they had a sign for it. I was like, shit, like I'm so mad. I was like looking forward to this thing and like I just wanted it so I went to so I like f tried to figure out like what to do and um I found out that I could because it was shipped via FedEx I could reschedule it for I could like um have them hold it at a FedEx location and the nearest FedEx, FedEx location for me is there's like a little kiosk in my Rite Aid in one of the drugstores so I like shipped it there I called them and I was like is it there and I they were like yes it's here I was like great like I'm gonna come tonight so I came home from work ran there it was like so easy so if that ever happens to you look in I think it's something new the guy was like this is new it's only been around for like eight months so definitely like if you are expecting a package and you know you have to sign for it and if it's FedEx, I mean, I'm sure you could do this with other things, but definitely if it's FedEx, look into if you could, like, have them hold it at the location and you could go pick it up. And it's, like, a same-day thing. So, like, if you're watching the tracking, you'll be able to see that they didn't leave it and then you could I keep changing hands. Sorry. You could reschedule it or, like, re reroute it. So, here is my new... And last Louis Vuitton item for a little while. She's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm more excited for this than I was for my favorite. So this is the Emily wallet. So this is the Emily wallet um, in monogram. I, I had always wanted this, but I can never find one. Like, it was always something that I was like, oh, eventually I'll get it, like, blah, blah, blah. But it was, so I always wanted more things. I always wanted a bag, or I always wanted just the clay, or I always wanted an agenda. So it was like, eventually I'll come around to it. Because I don't have a full-size wallet. I haven't had a full-size wallet for a number of years, and I just didn't like them anymore. Um, I much preferred something tiny, 
or just the clay or just a card case. So it was never anything that I was like, I'll get around to it. Um, I had ordered last year a multi-color like zip around continental wallet and I hated it because it was too big. So I, re so I sold it or I returned it. Um, but a few months ago, my sister's friend came over and she had this wallet in the damier bin with the red interior and i instantly fell in love with it because it wasn't too big it's nice and slim um and it's just like no matter how much you put in it it's not too big it's not heavy and it just i don't know like i really liked it so um i have i found the fuchsia interior and that's what i really wanted and like there was one that was a little cheaper that was red interior but i didn't want it and then they had the blue and the green, and I didn't want that either, and I just, I shelled out, like, an extra $20, $30 for, um, this, for the, in, for the fuchsia, and it's in perfect condition, and it was made in France, so I was like, I don't, people, people get, like, really hung up on the made in France thing, I don't care, but it's just nice, like, it's just, like, I'm, I don't, it's not, it's just, like, a cool thing, but, um, these are my insurance cards. You can't see anything. Um, and then if you open it, you have like a big compartment over here. I just have my clay in there because I kept, I keep my Metro card and my work ID. And instead of, and like sometimes it's just easier to grab that if I'm like running downstairs or running to the bathroom, whatever. But I've been noticing that I'm just grabbing my whole wallet and it's fine. Um, let me take these things out of it. I just have some gift cards back there. I don't keep a lot in my wallet. Like, I don't have a lot of things. So, this is what the back looks like. This is where you would put your cash. But then you also have another little pocket in the back. And you have a pocket here. And then you have your coin purse. Do you only get six card slot? I don't know. You only get four card slots. So, I, that's why you have, like, so much room in the back. Ah, and I'm not in good lighting. I'm sorry. It's getting starting to get dark. Um, but it's just in perfect condition. Like they, this, it literally looks. Aside from the button, it looks brand new. And I mean, you, it's just in absolute beautiful condition. And I'm just so freaking pleased with it. It's it, it is making me so happy. It's like kind of ridiculous. Um, so that's that. I want to show you one more thing I got. Um, I got the Two Ingredient Miracle Dough Cookbook. Now, I've talked about this on my blog before and maybe on the YouTube channel. I'm not sure. But Two Ingredient Dough is like a Weight Watchers heaven product. And it's literally even cups. Yeah, one cup of plain Greek yogurt. One cup of self-rising flour. And somebody wrote an entire cookbook with it. Um, her name is Erin. I think... I will put her uh, wait. I will put her Instagram handle down below. But it's like filled with the most delectable, delicious things you could create with two ingredient dough, and I'm so excited to get started with it. Um, but it's available now. You can get it like Barnes and Noble, Amazon. I pre-ordered mine on Amazon, and it came yesterday, even though it was released yesterday. So I'm so happy. Now two more things. I went, I told you I went nuts. I got two new candles from, uh, oh my god, Evil Queen, my favorite candle shop. I haven't, I like her more for spring candles because I don't, spring and summer, because I hate the Bath and Body Works scents and she always has the best ones. So these are like two that pr pretty much describe me perfectly. I am 100% a dream ch chaser, chase, chaser, and I am 1000% a moody bitch. So, I mean, I will keep this forever because it's so perfect and it's 100% me so I've talked about her a ton before I'll leave my blog posts about her in the comments below or in the cards okay are you ready to see what I got at Sephora so I talked about in the last vlog um, my last shopping vlog that I wanted that I liked the vital proteins well, I can't remember. I can't remember which vlog it was. I can't remember if it was the beginning of this vlog that I said I liked the Vital Proteins because I did, and I tried the original and it was fantastic. It was better than the coffee creamer, 
Um, so I was looking for, I didn't want to spend the money on the big tub. I don't know why. I think because the big tub is not as convenient to get. And Sephora had the little tub. So it's 10 ounces of my first, oh, I shook the camera, I'm sorry. Of my first tub of Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I'm so excited. I feel like now I'm officially a YouTuber because so many people use these. So many bloggers use them. And I always thought that it was like kind of a gimmick. And it very well might be, but... I can't tell you how good I felt when I was when I put these in my coffee. So very excited to have them. This thing was twenty five dollars, which isn't that bad. Um, I use them more. I'll I'll tell you more. Then I just got a little um, sample size of the found new Tarte Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation. I don't really like Tarte anymore, except for Shape Tape. But this was like the only. Um, like free goodie that I wanted, like the promo code. So we'll use it. I think, uh, what shade did I get? I got the shade Fair Light Sand. So we'll see how that goes. Then I was scrolling through Sephora and I w I'm gonna place a big order like this week, but I saw these and I had to grab them. Oopsies, it's my, I bought three of them. It's my favorite nail polish remover and Sephora's like discontinuing it. So whenever I, the last time I saw it, they were on sale for $5, I bought two of them. I went through one and this time I was like, F it, like I'm buying three. So I have three of those. And then I got, because I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. I got the um, lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury, an iconic nude because I've been loving the Pillow Talk one, so I figured might as well get Iconic Nude. I had been eyeing it for a little bit, um, and oh, it's so pretty. Very nice, I'm excited. But yeah, so that's all, oh, and then what did I get? Oh, I got a Retinol Youth Serum from Murad. And that's that, that's all I got this week. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, it was a long one, it was two like continuous vlogs of me just buying crap. I promise the next video will not be a vlogging haul. It might be another vlog because I do like vlogs and I think that um, like I like them the best for me, but we'll see. Um, so thank you for watching this video. Please comment, like, subscribe. Um, Please follow me on all my social media and go read royallypink.com. That's where I um, truly shine in my written word. Um, and I blog there four to five times a week. Um, so thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.